Hey, it's Mike from Hillside Hives. I haven't done a bee video in forever. I've been doing other stuff. Um, I wanted to show you today's September 1st or 2nd, something like that. Um, I was just checking the bees. I don't check them very often. I'm trying to do this natural beekeep, let them do their thing. I don't know if that's right or wrong. We're gonna find out. Um, this is, I'm at my one hive though. I wanna show you what I'm doing. This is my hive. I don't know if you follow along. Look at that orange. Oh my gosh, that pollen they're bringing in is incredible today has to be from the goldenrod. Anyway, so it's September 1st and I'm kind of in a quandary about what to do about this hive. This hive is going to go to Pennsylvania. Um, these bees are still building up. They're doing really, really well. This is the hive that is my queen from that we bred here at Hillside Hives and that we have here on our, oh my god, look at that. Oh, look at all that pollen. Wonderful. So anyway, these bees like to build up. Look at through the hole. You can see they're building comb here. So September 1st, um, I don't know what to, when you go in here though, see these bees are building up, but they're not building out to the side. I don't really want to put another box on because it's September 1st, but I don't know what the right answer is. My gut is telling me, wait, I got to put these bees down, but I don't want to get stung, to move some of these around and make them start building this up and put their honey in there because this is just wasting their time right here um, because they're trying to get ready for the winter. And look in here, there's honey in there. No, there's not, I lied. Um, but we gotta get all this burr comb off and say, listen girls, you gotta build over here because they need to store up for the winter. They can't waste their time doing this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to switch around I'll put an extra box on top, but the extra box is going to come off in another month anyway, but we'll just see what they do. Um, so that's where we're at with this hive. That's what I'm going to do with this hive right now. You can see the bees are just loving the day today. It's like 70 degrees out today. It was really chilly yesterday. It's supposed to rain tomorrow. Um, let's go over here to this hive. I went into this hive earlier and I just left it alone. You know, I go in there. The honey is almost ready in this, this one here. But you know what, I'm not gonna bother them right now to pull this honey out to extract it. Um, when there's honey almost ready up here, which I'll be doing probably in another month, and the honey here probably by the winter will be ready. So I'm just gonna let it go for until uh, probably another two months, and I'm not gonna harvest till then. I'm, gonna let, I'm just gonna let them do their thing. Cause look at them, they are busy today. They are busy as anything today, uh, bringing in they're getting these, um, taking advantage of these nice days here that we're having in New England, which we're not going to have many more coming up. Not terrible, but not um, like this. So I'm just going to let them do their thing. Uh, my, oh, my other ones, I'm trying to decide over the next couple days um, what to do with the ones up here because the skinny minis have got to um, go into a bigger hive. Um, and definitely the skinny minis have got to go to Pennsylvania in the fall. This one's got to go to Pennsylvania in the fall. So what I'm going to do here is here's my box, eight frame, medium. I'm going to clean up this burr comb, move this around a little bit, and then I'm going to put the box on. And then let's follow this hive over the next couple weeks and see how it does. Okay. Let me show you what I've done. I pulled this apart. Sorry, I'm in the shadow. Pulled this apart here. Bees are right here because there's honey right there. And it's good honey. I'm chewing on some now. I took this. I'm going to put this in the middle without crushing any bees. Oh, cow honey. Move. So I have a, here I have the um, empty and then hopefully they'll start building up on that. Um, and I'll still put that on just in case. They're bringing in so much pollen. That honey is good. Oh my gosh. Mmm. So, I'll let you know how it goes. Okay, just a quick demo here. Sorry, it's a little shady over here now, but see all these bees on the roof? I don't want them to get smushed because they're all heading down. And I don't like smushing bees. I hate hurting any bees. What you do is just take this up in the corner here. All the bees are off. Most of the bees are off. They're all right down there. You can safely, you can safely put your lid back on. 
I strongly recommend upper entrance here. If you're new to beekeeping, have an upper entrance here because those bees really, look at down there, they're used to their upper entrance being right there. Now I added a box on and they're looking for their entrance. It's up here, they're gonna find it. Look at them all. They're saying, where's our entrance? I moved it up. Oh, that makes me feel bad. Go up higher. Oh my gosh, they can't find their entrance. Now I'm worried. Maybe I should put that top one on. Look at them all coming back. These are all the foragers that are coming back. Look at all that pollen in there. You can't really see it. They're all looking for their entrance. Let's watch them, they'll find it on the top. Come on, go to the top. It's up here. Tell them, girl, it's up there. Oh my God. They are tons coming back. Maybe I should have done this during the day. See, that one found it. Come on, go up top. They don't understand English. Up here. Up here. Wow, that's incredible. All right, I'm going to feel too guilty. I'm going to take that top one off and put it on later. Because they can't find their way in. All right. In the fall. Hopefully in I'm the gonna fall. Go do that. This will be going to Pennsylvania later on. And hopefully, fingers crossed, they make it through the winter. Hopefully all of them do, but fingers crossed. Didn't have much luck last year. All right, that's it from the BR today. Have a good day.